and as easy as you guys think. When you hop in, you gotta think about the journey. You can't just think about just right now. You gotta think about the long term and everything that you gotta do to stay afloat in the bad and the good times. In the good times, you gotta think about the bad times. In the bad times, you gotta be reaping the benefits of what you did in the good times so you can have longevity out here for real. Plus, you gotta keep your cost down. You gotta keep, like, I'm saying outside of trucking. Like, just because you come out here in an inflated market don't mean you can live a lavish lifestyle. Unless if you have all your ducks in a row to move, to take that next step. You can't just hop out there and just think you can just do whatever you want. You gotta really be locked in. Let's get back out there to the road. Right now I'm picking up a load of pipe right down here in Missouri. Um, it's picking up and it's going to Minnesota. It's, I just gotta put like 12 straps on the load and pretty much make sure everything is secure and after that I can just take off and I'll just pull over in a few miles and check it, make sure everything is still secured and continue driving. Here at my delivery in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm just waiting on this guy, this Mercer guy right here to back up and turn around. Then I'll pretty much pull into the spot he was in. And this forklift guy right here is gonna drive around and unload me. This guy right here. It was a one day load. Picked up in Warrington, Missouri. It was about maybe 600 miles. It was a good run. I think he's happy. My next load, I just booked another load. It's going to Spokane, Washington. Picking up like 10 miles away. It's just a load of pods, like moving storage pods. Take those down there, deliver Friday, and also I can get me another load for the weekend. Probably coming back east or going south from Spokane, but we'll see. It's unloading me now. Second pickup. I'm gonna pick up some pods and head out to Spokane. All she cares about is money and the city where she's from. Her intention is the paper, she don't need no fucking love. She's spilling all this liquor, try to pass me all these cups. Well, baby girl, I'm zoned and somebody should have told her. I think it's because that fire that's going on. 
it's causing like it's like completely just covered like, look at that never seen it like that before i need to these off so um, i'm here in colville washington picking up a lumber load now this is gonna go to shermanville I'm sorry, Sherman, Texas. And I gotta deliver by Monday. It's Friday right now, so I'll be driving the whole weekend. My fan clutch went out. I'm out here and uh, I'm like 20 miles away from Billings, Montana. And I got a 48,000 pound load. I was climbing a mountain. My fan just started failing. Like it wasn't, it wasn't like cooling down for any stretch of the imagination. Like it just kept like going up and up. And I was like, oh my God, it's about to, it's about to blow. Had to pull over and assess the situation, but I just got through climbing a, a mountain going this way, so it should be downhill all the way back to Billings. So I'm just gonna see if I can just push it down the mountain right quick. Once it cool down. Dag on it. Billings 
getting my fan clutch replaced. About to get squared away out here. Billings, Montana. Yellowstone truck service. Finally got it off. I'll take it down here to Peterbilt. That looks pretty cool. Imagine driving that for work. Ain't no four wheelers. Brick checking you with that. You're just gonna go over the top. <laughs> just making it. About to get a PM done. Picked up this load. It's a load of transformers. They're for um they're going to a UPS. Um they're they bought electric trucks. And they're um, using this for the, I guess, the charging system for all the trucks. Not semi-trucks, mail trucks. Just making it to my delivery. Just trying to check in. Got a bunch of drive-in drivers in front of me. I don't know if they're going to have any stage to get unloaded. About to find out now. Tell me to park over here in the side. Hopefully it won't take too long for them to unload me. They gotta unload these drive-in guys first. Then she says she's gonna come out this side door right here and with a forklift and she'll unload me from the side. See how stuff goes. Just getting here to my next pickup. Picking up some of these concrete panels out here in Pleasanton, Kansas. I think that's where I'm at. picking up the flooring like the concrete flooring for a warehouse up in Euclid, Wisconsin pretty much they're gonna take the panels they're gonna pick up two of them each one weighs like 20,000 pounds 21 22,000 pounds they'll take it put on the trailer and I gotta throw one strap in the front and one in the back and after that um, I gotta move to the staging area so I can throw two or three more straps 
because it's 40,000 pounds, so I'm gonna need at least like five straps to make sure the load is properly secured. And that'll be pretty much it. told me not to throw any straps down the middle so i needed a total of five straps to make sure i'm legal so i put two in the back and three in the front and i took off after that years later finally getting some movement was waiting on an oversized guy to get here he he couldn't find the construction site had us in here for like two hours it's all good though we're kind of wrapped around the building i don't know if y'all can see it in the mirror I thought it was like the wall, but they're like, these are like concrete slabs for the floor. That's so cool. <laughs> Just got through strapping my load for the weekend. About to head to Marcini, Arizona. I'm up here in Chatfield, Minnesota. It's about maybe a 1500 mile trip. Take about probably two days, two or three days to get there. Need to get this truck washed. I had to pull over it right quick to tighten it down. It was, the wind is blowing like 20 miles an hour. I started seeing everything flapping around. But now we all tightened down. Let's get back on the road.
subscription is free, so I mean, be good information, entertainment, but the choice is yours. Shit faster than mine, man. I'm trying to keep up. She's been kicking my ass. Do you know?